Today I'm going to be walking you through the process of setting up your website. I'm going to show you exactly how, how to do so and how easy it is to get your website up and running here at Wealthy Affiliate. And this is for either a free website or on a domain that I own. In this case, I'm going to be showing you how to create a free website, which you get two free websites as a starter member. And as a premium member, you get 25 free websites and then 25 uh, domains that you own. So I'm just going to be walking you through this process here. And in a matter of 30 to 30 seconds to a minute, I'm going to show you how you can have your very own fully functional WordPress website any niche up and running without further ado I'm gonna get right into things and I'm gonna be walking you through the process so to offer maximum clarity here I'm just gonna first show you how you access the website builder here at Wealthy Fillet there are actually two ways to do it uh, within the side menu here you're gonna see site Rubix which is the website building platform here and build your websites here underneath of it. If you mouse over that, it's gonna open the entire Site Rubik's menu. Here you're gonna see Site Manager, Site Builder, Site Feedback, and Site Support. And Site Builder is the page that I'm actually on that takes you directly to the Site Builder. So I can access it by going here. And I'm just going to show you here, it takes you to the same page that I'm on. This is the site builder here at Well. If I want to access it within my site manager, I can do that as well. I'm just going to take you to the site management page here. You're going to see at the top of your site manager, build a new website. So you can, you can access it by that as well. Click the build website and you can get rolling that way. So what I'm going to do here for in this video is I'm going to choose a free website. And the first thing you need to do is choose a domain name. And this is in, in respect to your niche. So you want it to be relevant, targeted towards your niche. In this case, I'm just going to put something in my awesome niche. You know, if you're in the dog training niche, it would be something related to dog training. If you were, in this case, myawesomeniche.siterubix.com will be my domain name. And you see up here that it says available. If, if your domain's not available, if someone else has already taken it, then it's gonna tell you and you'll just need to enter something different. For So moving on to step two here, I'm gonna do my awesome niche. So basically what you wanna do for the name of your website, this is gonna be the title of your website at the top of your page when your website goes live. You want it to relate to exactly what your domain name is. That's, that's as easy as that. It should represent what your domain name is and nothing more complex than that. Step three, we're going to be choosing a theme or, or a design for our website. These are called themes in WordPress. As a starter member, you get access to 12 different themes. As a premium member, you get access to over 2,400 themes. And this is growing every day as, as people add more uh, WordPress themes. So there's a lot of different options here. My recommendation to you, uh, in particular when starting out, is to choose something very simple. Something that's that's white and has a uh, you know black text. It's the it's the most readable. As the focus as we build out our website is going to be focused on the content. So don't focus on too many things with too many bells and whistles. The themes like that can really end up distracting you, and you can spend more time trying to figure out how to make the theme work than to create your content. And your content is going to be your business going forward. So choose a theme that's simple. Below the themes, you're going to see demo details. And favorite, you can favorite a theme if you really like it. Details is going to take you to uh, WordPress where you can get full details and stats on a particular theme if you're interested in that. And then demo is going to show you what the theme actually looks like when it's live and has some content in it. Shows you different heading styles, that sort of thing. What it's going to look like when you get your website live. Uh, but we're going to be live with our web website in a few seconds here after we've selected our theme. And then the final step here is just going to be to build our website. So I'm just going to click I'm ready, build my website now at the very bottom, step four here. And this is going to be creating our website behind the scenes. It's going to be setting up databases, setting up all the security and monitoring uh, that come with your websites here. So a lot's going on and it's all going to happen very quickly. And before we know it, we're magically going to have our very own websites up and running here. So and building our websites here. So it's completed now. Uh, as you can see, the process from start to finish is very quick. Obviously, I had spent some time explaining how everything works, but it is very quick to build your website. I could have done it in you know, 15, 20 seconds if I really wanted to, but obviously I wanted to add some clarity here for you. 
once you complete your site, you're going to have all your details here. Uh, don't worry, you can access these at any time through your site manager. So we're going to, I'm going to show, be showing you this after briefly. But uh, so don't worry if you, um, you know, you, you navigate away from this page because you're always going to have access to these details. But I'm just going to quickly walk you through them here. At the top, you have your domain name. So this is your website domain name. Uh, and if you click this, it's going to take you directly to your website. So you can see my awesome niche website is already live on the internet. It's uh, you know it's pretty phenomenal when you when you think about it how quickly you can go from not having a site to having a website live on the internet that others can view. So it's it's up and running now. Here's the administration page. So this is a page you use to log in um, manually to WordPress, and this is where you're going to manage your websites. So that's where you're going to go to create content. You're going to update your your themes. You're going to you're going to do everything associated with your website within the WordPress admin area, which I'm going to be showing you in a second here. But that's how you manually do. And then you you'd use your username and password to log in if you're to manually log in. We have a feature here at Wealthy Affiliate uh, that will log you in automatically to your website by clicking a button, though. So you don't have to go through and manually enter these details every time. Uh, there's, a, there's always a lot of room for error if you're manually entering a password like this. So if you click the Log Me In button, it's going to take you into your WordPress admin area. And this is just going to take a second, and I'm going to show you the dashboard here. So this is the back end, the administration area of your website. This is where you're going to add posts and pages, manage menus, the appearance plugins, create new users, tools and settings for your site. So this is this is the framework of your website and this is where you're going to manage everything associated with your WordPress website. It's all within this interface uh, and it's and it's very powerful. So so now that you're logged in, you you could uh, you know, I could go on and start creating content. I could be doing uh, basically anything and the training is going to walk you through all, all that as you go forward and we're going to be popping down into the site manager here and I'm going to be briefly explaining how this works and I'm going to be showing you around the site management area for this website that I just created. So here I am within the site manager page here at Wealthy Affiliate and this is the site rubrics manager so this is where you go to manage all your websites again it's within the menu over here under site manager and you can access this at any time that you'd like uh, at the top here is my most recent website you can see I have others here so if you are on starter obviously you'll have a maximum of two sites here uh, as a premium member you'll have up to 50 sites here and as you scroll you can scroll down and, and view all your websites and uh, also manage them and sort them up at the top here to the left here is a screenshot of your site and this is a, the current state of your website so this is going to take a screenshot of your website uh, here and now uh, so if you want to refresh that you can too if you've just made updates but this is updated regularly and this is live data here associated with your website uh, you can see last updated date uh, you can see all your pages posts and comments uh, you can see whether or not your website is indexed in Google yet. Since it's a brand new site and I just created a few minutes ago, it uh, it obviously isn't indexed in Google yet. But as soon as it is, you will know about it there. The move feature is the thing that I was explaining that you can take a site Rubik's website, one of the free websites, and transfer the entire thing over to your own domain. That's a premium only feature and it handles all the proper redirects for SEO so it's it's quite an efficient and very powerful tool if you're if you're needing to transfer websites details you click this and this takes you back to the page that we were initially on with all the details associated with your website including login details the domain name administration and what's installed and active on your website and then Site Health, this is a feature within Wealthy Affiliate that's exclusive to members. And what this does is it has innate knowledge of your WordPress sites. And it's going to give you uh, feedback on how your site's performing based on your activities within it and visitor activity within it. Uh, so it's based on many different metrics. Obviously, my site is brand new, so the site health is going to be poor right now. But as I start building it out, and getting engagement and you know building quality content and publish regularly 
this is an awesome feature and it, and it will allow you to gauge the performance of where your sites are and where they're heading.